and we're back at the full app walkthrough series. We last left off with our list view or our scroll view here working correctly and our buttons currently don't do anything and that's what we're gonna begin coding out here together. So coming back to our blog preview card where this logic's happening, I'm actually gonna change this to view or read this blog, right? That makes more sense. Read this blog like so. I'm going to save the file and confirm this worked. And that's our little icon right there. And you can actually, on the React Native uh, Vector Icons site, you can find a list of all possible icons you can use. We can maybe change this later together. So now, just like before, we have to pass the ID of this blog across a route param so we can make another fetch call on the single blog screen. So that's gonna be a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and just start taking a bite out of crime, right? Let's see if we can't figure this out. We need to first off take a step and realize that, uh-oh, remember I mentioned our stack navigator only provides that s these uh, navigation screen props to the screen we navigate to. So how do we provide that option of this dot props dot uh, navigation dot navigate? How do we provide that to a component that's rendered in a screen. I believe it actually throws an error if you try and pass it as a prop as it won't understand what that is. So we actually have to do a little bit of extra work on our blog preview card here. There are two things you're gonna need to import on a component that's within a screen in order for it to understand what you're trying to do. The first one is going to be the navigation injected props, meaning this is going to be an injected component wrapped by another higher order component that provides the props for it. It will inject the necessary props for us to utilize that navigation.navigate prop. And there's gonna be one more thing, which is gonna be the wrapping component, the higher order component, which is gonna be a with navigation. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of refactoring. First off, I'm gonna to need to move this export default down below here and make it on a separate line. Where we're gonna export with navigation, wrapping our exported component of blog preview card. That should correct that right there. At least I thought it would, unless I'm missing something here, blog preview card. Oh, I know why. So it won't know what the with navigation is injecting without actually typing the props as well. So we have to come up here and extends navigation injected props save the file and that should correct our typing error down here. Now it knows what props it's actually injecting into this component. And so now with that refactor, we can test with our on press button handler and our on press is going to do a this.props.navigation. Yes, this is how we know we got it right because IntelliSense knows what the hell we're talking about. Dot navigation, dot navigate. And let's not even worry about route parameters right now. Let's say, can we even navigate to the single blog screen? Can we make this work? So it's just gonna go back to that single blog screen, right? If we can get this working, we can start doing the rest of the logic without too much more issue. Okay, so scroll view is working. Everything looks good. Read this blog. Yeah, buddy, we got it. That is how you would do a component within a screen that still needs to navigate somewhere. And, you know, I was a covalent student a year ago this time, so in, in February of 2018, as of this uh, video recording. And I think I was learning some React, and by the end of this month, I was in React Native, and you have asked me to code this, there would be 0% chance I could. So it's really cool to see that, you know, we're all growing as coders, and then the things I learn the hard way, I can bestow to you guys as additional knowledge. So I'm really happy to see that I can get you, get this information and show it to you guys, and hopefully explain it enough that y'all understand it. That way, after you guys finish the course, this curriculum, guys and gals, you can absolutely show me all the cool stuff you're learning, so maybe I can begin incorporating it into more YouTube videos. Okay, now that we're navigating to single blog, we're gonna be doing a lot of the same logic as before, actually. Um, so I might actually take a pause in this video and let you guys do this on your own and we're going to meet up in the next video. The goal here is my single blog component will no longer just be doing the single blog screen text. It's going to be doing the same thing all blogs does. It needs to type your state, meaning if I fetch a single blog, 
Um, it needs to know its types, and it's going to also handle maybe the rendering in some kind of component. It's not going to be this scroll view more than likely, since it's going to be just one blog on the screen. If you have a lot of content, you might have to do a scroll view though, so kind of play around with it and take the styling on your own. Um, and you don't have to have a helper method, it can just load the component right there in your render return. Or if you want to do it within the, con within the one component itself, that's also fine. Either way, it shouldn't be too much work. But although, before we, before we head off so you guys can work on that a little bit as some practice in your React Native skills without just watching and copying what I'm doing, we need to figure out how to pass an ID to single blog. So for example, in my single blog, if I come here and remember like in our React router DOM examples, we would have something called this.profs.match.params.id or something like that. And that's pretty gnarly, and that came from React Router DOM. So what is the equivalent here using React Navigation? That's going to be something called Navigation Params, right? Navigation Params, that's the one. Boom. And that way, this component will extend that right there. There we go. So now it should recognize navigation params handed to us by our React Navigation library. So that way, down here, I should be able to understand this dot props. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's actually, unfortunately, a wee bit more complicated than that. So let's back up a second here. We have something called this dot props dot navigation, which should have something called get param on it. And I think I'm missing some kind of typing if this is not working. Hmm. Possibly. All right, well, you know, there's no red underline, so let's see what happens here. And this is where you specify two values, a default value if there is no ID or no parameter. I'm gonna do something like no ID since that's what the documentation for React Navigation says to do. And we pass it something called an item ID. And this value should result in an item ID of some kind, as in like a this.props.match.params almost, right? Like our ID. This should be a parameter we can pass across with our this.props.navigation.navigate. So we are going to try and see if this works. So theoretically, I can, if I can get the item ID to display in a text element when we navigate to single blog, we should be able to do a fetch to that, to that ID, to that single API REST endpoint, and get a single blog's information. So coming back to our blog preview card, how do we pass along our item ID or our ID of our blog. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and destructure that value so I can get it ready for use. And remember I mentioned that Navigate can take two arguments. The first one required, the second one being optional. And the second one is going to be an object. So more curly braces, yay. And it needs a property called item ID and its value will be ID. So this item ID is what we're getting param on the child component that's being navigated to, AKA single blog. And this ID is the value of each individual blog. So in my map, I have blog ID one, two, three, and four, I believe, and that's what these guys correspond to. So now let's see if this item ID pops up on the screen or if this entire navigation params fiasco is going to blow up in my face. So let's check it out. File should be saved, refreshing the page. Okay, so all the blog previews are showing up still. And a moment of truth, single blog screen one, single blog screen two, single blog screen three, and these are coming from my database. That's where these IDs are coming from. Single blog screen four. And now we have successfully passed across and I believe successfully typed our parameter. So now we know how to pass a route param along with our navigation. So y'all take some time to code out and draw up your single blog screen as it will be a good exercise to practice using React Native Elements and any React Native components that you guys want to use. And I'll see y'all in the next video where we keep on coding our app.